Uh, why do people say an elephant never forgets? I've never understood this. Kristen, do you know why? I think because elephants have very, very good memories. <laughs> I know that seems like a very common sense answer, but it's true. I mean... They actually don't. They don't? No, no, no. It, it's actually... It, I saw this on Mythbusters. They, uh... <laughs> The smartest ones next to us, they mourn their dead, they get drunk. Yeah, that's, these are all smart things to do. <laughs> <laughs> the most emotionally... I, I can't one. believe he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I saw it in Mythbusters. They, they, um, because it's a myth that an elephant never forgets. What happens is they got this elephant and they blew it up. <laughs> A few moments later. Unfortunately, Someone? no. It's okay. a movie about a whale rescue. Oh, that's great! <laughs> <laughs> Did the whale, the whales, you know, whales never forget the aquatic version of elephants. Fair enough. Whales do not forget. And they mourn their dead and get drunk. <laughs> do you know they used the idea of the elephant's graveyard? This is true. That the, the elephants bury their dead. I know, I told you that. <laughs> <laughs> I did! <laughs> I know! <laughs> All right, uh, All right. Uh, she's Larry in Swepsonville. She says, Dear Craig, it's not really a she, that's what was making me laugh. <laughs> See, because I. I made myself laugh, but then I forgot the trick is not to make me laugh. <laughs> I played a harmonica in uh, Assassins on Broadway. Is that a restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a musical uh -oh. called Assassins on Broadway. <laughs> I love you, man. You should just come every night. Ooh la la! Are you smelling your finger? Mm. <laughs> can I can I smell it a bit? Yeah. No, I think. <laughs> See? I smell the other ones. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what? What? What are you clapping for? What, are you, what is that ovation for? Think about what you just clapped for. Did you think there would be a time in your life that you would clap for that? For that? I'm scared, you, man. That, I'm just scared. And, I gotta go home. And, oh, as if I would actually use this finger. <laughs> That, come on. <laughs> no, come on, dude. You do use that finger, no. though. Yeah, you do. I use the whole fist. Oh, God. Oh. Thank you. Again. How can I keep writing without getting bored? <laughs> well, Lily, you're going to have to start doing interesting things. <laughs> In your pants. <laughs> that was the best 40 bucks we ever spent, man. I'm telling you, that robot... <laughs> Yeehaw! as well is that when Rickles sees this he's gonna lose his I got mind. <laughs> he's gonna go mad. Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, uh, this is for you too. <laughs> good boy. I just said good boy to a skeleton. Is that right? Do you say good is that offensive to say good boy? Did I talk to you like a dog or something? No, talk to me like the dog again. <laughs> Bow wow. Yeah yeah all right. Uh, you like to chew on a bone from all time right, to time. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> All right, this is, uh, he says, uh, hey, Craig and Jeff, my 10-month-old son loves your opening song and any time Jeff talks. Has Jeff ever thought of starting a kid's show? <laughs> <laughs> you, you ever thought of starting a kid's show there, Jeff? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Hey, kids. No, 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 don't. Knock it off. Oh, come on. No, man. You've gone too far. You got too far before you even went anywhere. You got—I could see it. I could see it in your blue eyes. Yeah. But I'm watching this television from uh, all from London, and they have a way of talking on television that I think we should do, Jeff. All right. Right. Well, what they do is this: whenever I, I, someone is talking on television in Britain, they talk like this. They say, um, "Today, Her Majesty the Queen opened a shop." And then she went somewhere else. They talk like this, a little bit like this, and then they finish off their sentence like that. They start talking, and then they go over here. It's a really interesting way to talk. So, for example, if we were watching British television, I'd say, Welcome back to the show with me and Jeff. It's almost like they begin a sentence and someone is grabbing them by the testicles, and then the person lets go of the testicles and they go, Did you notice that? I couldn't understand a word that you said at all. <laughs> I think it comes from... Uh, there used to be an Australian broadcaster years ago called Alan Wicker. And Alan Wicker would always talk like this and then finish his sentence like that. And I think they all copy him. <laughs> I think that's very interesting. I'm lying. <laughs> Making light of terrible tragedy. <laughs> right, the lotion in the basket, or it gets the hose again. <laughs> That's great. That's perfect. It puts the lotion in the basket, or it gets the hose again. Put the lotion in the basket. Atiana says, uh, "Dear Craig, do you think you could ever do a show without using your sound effects machine?" I could. But it'd be like having sex without your genitals. Why? <laughs> Why? I mean, that's the best bet, you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do I think it's really funny? <laughs> this is my job. <laughs> How awesome is that? How awesome is that? What the? Wow. wow. I didn't know I could still do that. Yeah, there you go. Wow. I thought I could only do that in the old studio. It works here, too? Yeah. <laughs> what about this? Does this still work here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that made me laugh. All right. Hey, wait, wait. You have to hear this. I'm sorry to interrupt your really great story, but I was in the grocery store the other day. You know who I saw at the salad bar? Winfred Brimley! <laughs> At the salad bar! <laughs> Winfred Brimley! Cocoon! <laughs> At the salad bar! Helping himself to salad! I thought, doesn't he have diabetes? <laughs> 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 Did he yell at you about diabetes? <laughs> like he does in those commercials? <laughs> I want you to pick up the phone right now. Or I'll kill you. <laughs> and that's why I wanted to go over and say, good for you, Wilfred Brimley, you're getting salad because you've got diabetes. <laughs> hey, why the hell are you staring at me while I'm at the salad bar? <laughs> took a photograph on her iPhone. <laughs> She's like, what for Brimley? He's like, ah! I'm a decent man. I'm trying to eat a salad here. <laughs> Snapping your damn photos. I got diabetes. 
<laughs> anyway, look, if you have got diabetes, uh, salad's the way to go, I think. That's one of the... If you have diabetes, Wilfred Brimley's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> says, Dear Craig, I have a 3.9 college GPA and I've been single for over a year. Are men intimidated by intelligent women? And if so, why? <laughs> I didn't really understand the question, Jeff. <laughs> oh, 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 I don't know. Oh, oh. I just like boobies and beer. Oh, 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 oh. That's right, Goofy just likes boobies and beer. Is that Goofy or Pluto? Pluto. What the talk's like? Who's that? Goofy or Pluto? What the hell's going on over there? I'm sorry, man. It's my caffeine pants. Your skin here. I... <laughs> so, so floppy. Maybe it could tuck on a little bit or something. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. <laughs> oh, there's a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> you all right? <laughs> I'm sorry. For some reason, I was thinking, you know, actual real horse, and then. <laughs> Uh, I mean, because uh, you pat a horse there, that's all right, but, uh, you know. <laughs> anyway, look, the, the upshot is I love you. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> that's a new noise you put in. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when they do that. I'm sorry. Look, I know it's a fart joke. I don't give a rat's ass. <laughs> Gorgeous men are on our tell. Why are you driving so fast? <laughs> oh. The G men were the government men. <laughs> a lady over there who's really pissed off at me. <laughs> it started with a Taco Bell Chihuahua and now, she, now she's just really, <laughs> she's just really mad. Um, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll go like this, I won't look, all right. <laughs> anyway, sorry. But every now and again you get one who, who just can't sit down. <laughs> You know, why did you keep standing up? Do you have, do you have restless leg syndrome or something? She doesn't even answer me. She just kind of stands up like that. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the big show where sometimes we stand up, sometimes we sit down. Uh, I'm always getting that wrong. Anyway, uh, Larry in Swepsonville in North Carolina says, Dear Craig, I was filling my bird feeders the other day. I was filling my bird feeders. I can't believe I get paid for this crap. Uh, 